everyone welcome to my channel again and if you are new to my channel hello my name is Emily I'm a junior makeup artist and I'm a four aspiring makeup artist and today I've done a very bold different out there eyeliner which has turned out great I love it it's made me feel so beautiful so confident and like really strong doing this work but if you would like to know how I achieve this look and if you would like to recreate it with yourself, please keep on watching. I am now taking the shade Psychic by Makeup Geek Cosmetics and I'm applying that into my crease using a Morphe Large Blending Brush. And I'm applying it in an upward direction and I'm adding to the intensity as I go along. And I just want to point out the pigment on this is beautiful and amazing. I'm now taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ash Brown and I'm applying it to my eyebrow using a Sigma Winged Liner Brush. I've taken the Sleek Makeup Blush Trio and that shade is Pink Parfait in the middle which is the one I'm using in my crease along with the same Morphe blending brush that I was using in the first part of the eyeshadow. I am applying now the Sugar Peel Liquid Lipstick in the shade Kimchi which is so beautiful and I'm applying that onto my eyelid to act as a base and to also partially cut the crease and be able to form the outline for the bold liner I am going to do. I am now taking the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost in the shade Lavender Snow which is so pretty. I am applying Lavender Snow all over my eyelid using the Morphe double sided eyeshadow brush and this brush is amazing for packing on shadow and helps the pigment, oh my god it's so pretty. And I'm now taking the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Juju and I'm taking a Morphe Angle Brush and I'm creating a very bold eyeliner look. It's kind of like a semi cut crease the way it looks and I'm just going to continue to apply that until I get the shape that I'm looking for and I'm going to try and repeat that step on the other eye to make sure that they are even and to ensure that the lipstick is very obvious that it can be seen as eyeliner and make sure it's not patchy or anything like that. I continue to add it in the shape that I want and it's starting to look really 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 good and I love how it's turned out. I'm now going to apply the shade Twilight from the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette to the inner corner and the middle of my eyelid just to act as a sort of highlight and to also help with the colour purple and just to make it bright and shimmery and pretty like I want it to look and I continue to add that shade until I get the shade that I would like, the concentration of the pigment and stuff. I'm now taking the Morphe 35C palette and I'm taking the purple shade and I'm putting it in the outer corner and the end of the eyeliner look. I'm trying to concentrate it towards the outside of my eye as it's a darker colour to add dimension and to also kind of create an ombre effect which is what I'm going for. And the 35C palette is so beautiful and the purple in there is stunning. It's my favourite colour. I'm now taking the Sleek Trio Pink Trio blush which this one is called Pink Teeny and I'm applying that where I applied the purple on the previous Morphe palette and I'm using that as a sort of base to add the pink colour to which made it slightly different and ensured that it can be seen separately. I'm now taking the shade Lavender Snow again on the Real Techniques Detailer Brush and I'm adding that to the beginning half of the inner corner of my eye and the middle of my eyelid just to get that pop and to make sure that it looks as good as possible and looks flawless and professional which is what I'm going for. It's so pretty so far and I'm so loving how it's looking. Okay so I'm gonna take my favourite jumbo eye pencil from NYX to help open my eyes and I'm just gonna apply it to the waterline to give my eye a bit of I am now taking the foundation shade which is Light Vanilla by Bourjois and I am applying that with a Morphe blending sponge which believe it or not I actually prefer to the beauty blender as it has those angles which means you can get under the eye and also it makes it look flawless which is what I love about the sponge and I'm now taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer, the white one because it acts A as a brightening 
thing but it also helps lighten up the foundation which as I've said before is a little bit too dark for me as I'm very pale and it gives me a slight tan so I just wanted to make sure that it was more suited to my skin and that it didn't look too dark as I quite like looking my normal skin colour rather than looking very very dark and tan. I continue to buff that in using the Morphe Flat Foundation Brush which is amazing. I am now taking my NYX Porcelain Setting Powder and I'm applying that with the Morphe. I'm now applying the NYX Porcelain Powder using the Morphe Big Powder Brush and I am using that to set the foundation in place and to make sure that it doesn't budge throughout the entire day. It doesn't budge all day and now I'm taking the Morphe 9C palette and I'm taking a Sigma concealer blending brush and I'm adding the two lightest shades from the Morphe 9C palette under my eyes to A set the concealer under my eye but to also help with the brightening just to make sure that my eyes look awake and that the dark circles aren't there. I'm now taking the Morphe 9M blush palette and I'm mixing the lightest shade with the middle shade and I'm applying that with a Morphe blush brush and I continue to add it on both sides even though the tubes there I try to add it a little bit around the sticker. I'm now contouring using the Morphe 9C palette and I'm taking my favourite Morphe contour brush and I'm just contouring my cheeks and blending it in an upward direction just to help lift my face and to ensure that the contour is in the right place and is not too low because nobody wants contour that goes too low because it then brings your face down which is not what I want and I continue to apply this contour shade all over my face on my forehead on both my cheeks and also on my jawline just to help sharpen my jawline and to also tie the look together and ensure that it looks great I am now taking the Morphe 9 BZ bronzer palette and I'm adding the middle bronzer to my cheeks to my forehead and to also to my jawline as well and I just like to make sure that this looks great and that it looks and it ties in together and it doesn't look too orangey I am now completed the eye look which looks awesome and I'm now taking the Morphe highlighter brush I'm applying a little bit of the Pixie Rose Water Spray and I'm now taking the Jeffree Star Crystal Ball Skin Frost and I'm swirling it around to get the best pigment and I'm now applying the highlighter onto my face to basically make sure I can blind like blind haters almost but just blind with my highlight that is what I love I know a lot of people don't like a lot of highlighter but I'm a very big fan of it so I really like to look like I'm wearing a lot of highlighter because I just love to glow and I know it's a very personal opinion but I personally absolutely love everything about highlighter and especially this one and I just want to show my love for this and this brand by wearing it in my videos and look wow is my reaction oh my gosh it is very bright but I absolutely love it and if I love it then that's great I am now taking the Crystal Ball Skin Frost and I'm going to put that in the inner corners of my eye just to have a little pop of highlighter and to open up my eyes and to brighten them up a little bit and I'm also applying it under my brow bone as a brow bone highlight and I just like to do that just to ensure that the tail ends of the eyebrow look sharp and to also help lift up my eyes again to make them look very bright, very awake and very very pretty which is what I love and I like to blend in my brow bone highlight with my fingers just to soften it a little bit and to make sure it doesn't look too harsh or too streaky which is not great to make part is worst nightmare streak I am now taking the peaches and cream pixie loose shadow and I've applied it in the inner corners of my eye and I've also applied a little tiny bit under my brow bone and I'm now taking the Makeup Geek Cosmetics shade of Fairy Tale and I'm applying that under my eye just to tie in the whole purple look together and to also help make that white liner in my waterline pop even more. Now taking the Jeffree Star Unicorn Blood for the lip lips. So hello everyone again, this is the final look at the end of it. This is a very bold out there purple and pink eyeliner. 
mixed with Unicorn Blood by Jeffree Star, which is the most stunning colour ever. And I am, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I think it looks so good. And it looks a lot better on me than I thought it would look in my head. And I love it. And I just think it looks really classy and very bold, but still very pretty. And I love it. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching this video and for taking the time out of your day to like help my youtube journey if you honestly don't know guys how grateful i am to you and i send love to you all and i will see you very soon